just letting you guys know you can listen to my No Bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spillsage. Today we are talking about Shane Dawson and Rylan and Morgan because they all posted a new video together titled Cooking My Boyfriend's Favorite Meal 2021 on Rylan's main channel. And when I tell you guys, this video was a ride. It was 40 minutes long and there was a lot going on here. I mean, basically the premise of the video was that Rylan was going to be recreating a Taco oh. Bell burrito, but there was a lot of conversation happening in this video that we need to talk about. I do want to say that this felt like a very old, like vlog of Shane and Rylan's, like the vibe and energy of this entire video felt like something that I had seen before, the way that they were all interacting. It was very like happy and it definitely is setting the tone for Shane to come back very soon. Everybody did seem in really good spirits. And I think that is because they feel excited that Shane is feeling up to recording again and that he is going to be making that return soon. But to start off kind of like the details of like what was said in this video and some of like the tea that was included. I wanna say that Shane was feeling very, very bold in this video because for the first time he was actually letting Rylan show his face on camera. And I mean, prior to this, the only time he'd ever been on camera was when Rylan had him on an episode of their podcast, but that's really it. And that was a really long time ago. And so this time around, Shane was letting Rylan show a little bit more than just his shoulder, because honestly, that's all we've really seen of Shane in the recent months, because he's been hiding. He didn't want to be on camera. He was on his break from the internet. And so he didn't even want to be in Rylan's videos. And they were honestly calling out drama channels because Shane was saying that drama channels have been using the same photo of Shane for like all the videos that they've been making this past year. Here's my, here's, okay, here's my problem. <laughs> what? My problem is, my problem is I, I feel ugly. I'm, I'm not ready to be on camera. I'm still like, all the drama channels are still using the picture from my last apology video a year ago. <laughs> And Shane, obviously, because you haven't been on camera. So the only video that we have to go off are the old videos to get thumbnails. And so this was something that they were all joking about at the table. And Shane was saying that he was going to be covering up his face and like make it hard for the drama channels to like make videos on him and that they could just piece together like portions of his face in order to make a thumbnail because he did not want to be on camera yet. He like was not ready. So he was just showing little bits and pieces of his face, which... Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> I, I was like, this is just a mess. This is a mess right here. And during this whole conversation, Morgan was agreeing with Shane saying that drama channels always use like the same like screenshot of Morgan in every single video. But you can't even Photoshop a new picture every time. They use the same picture of the same person every time. And I just want to say they included the Morgan Adams is spill sesh thumbnail from a podcast episode that I did. And I was like, you guys are going to bring this conspiracy theory back again because for the longest time, everybody thought I was Morgan Adams, which does not make sense. I don't know why I'm making videos about my brother-in-law, but they put that in there, which I thought was really funny because I honestly thought that Morgan hated that whole entire conspiracy theory. And so for them to put that in there, I was like, you guys must not hate the conspiracy theory because you left it in, which I'm sure would cause a little bit of buzz. But that podcast episode was literally almost a year ago. And so that thumbnail was from a year ago. I mean, I try to use the most recent video for thumbnails. Like if Trisha posts the video, I'm probably going to be using a screenshot from that video they just posted in my thumbnail. But honestly, the whole segment was just funny to hear them talk about this entire thing and seeing the tables turn as Shane calls out drama channels since he's been called out quite a bit over the last year. But aside from joking about drama channels, they did get into discussions about Shane's break from the internet. Shane was even joking about this being a vacation for him, away from the internet and all of this stuff, and even posted on his Shane Glosson channel a little kind of excerpt about this video and that he was looking forward to coming back. And honestly, you guys, we already heard like a couple weeks ago that Shane was going to be coming back, so this is not a big shocker, but I feel like his return is even closer than we might have even thought before just because he seemed really ready in this video he was cracking jokes again the vibe just seemed different in this video that they were all happier in some way and like
life was about to be normal for them by Shane coming back, I don't know. But on Shane Glosson, he linked this video and said, this video was so much fun to be a part of and it made me really happy. Check it out if you want. P.S. Thanks for all the love and nice messages recently. It means a lot to me. The last year was hard, not complaining, I'm aware I deserved a lot of it, but it definitely made me not want to tell jokes really, but lately I've been feeling more like myself and it's been nice. At some point I want to talk about stuff more openly, but for now I'm just trying to do things that make me happy and get me feeling creative again. Hope you're having a good week and I hope the chaotic fever dream of a video makes you laugh. And I mean this video was very chaotic, I will say that, but the comments under this, when I tell you guys people are excited to see him come back, I'm not joking, like all the comments are extremely positive. And I don't know if that's just because it's filtered or what, but people want Shane to come back. They seem really ready, really excited, which is quite shocking. Honestly, it's shocking because of how crazy things were one year ago today, pretty much at Shane Dawson and the entire like internet's reaction and feelings towards Shane and Jeffrey for that matter to now seeing all these I miss you's and like, we can't wait for you to come back. It's definitely crazy and definitely encouraging him to come back even sooner than I think he even realized he could could be able to, but we have talked about the fact that Shane has been rumored to possibly be working on a potential Britney Spears documentary during this entire time that he has been away from the internet. And people feel like he will be returning back to the internet with a Britney Spears documentary. Now, this rumor went around because a Britney Spears account on Twitter had tweeted out that they had heard that Shane was interviewing people about the Free Britney movement. And obviously this is really crazy. It's been in the entire headline for this entire week because Britney gave her statement about everything that's been going on from her perspective. For the first time, we're really hearing her talk about this in great detail. And honestly, it is so sick to hear about the things that Britney Spears has had to endure. And when people did hear about the fact that Shane was working on this documentary, they were really upset, didn't want him to go near this because it is just quite sensitive this entire thing and Shane Dawson obviously very controversial people don't really know how he would be able to execute such a really major situation and so in this video that Rylan uploaded they were joking about this Britney documentary which kind of makes me feel like it's not actually true that he's not working on one because of the way that they're joking about it, saying constantly, oh, gotta go work on my Britney documentary. Are you working on a Britney documentary? Have you heard him working on a Britney documentary? Like they were definitely making fun of people on the internet that are going along with this little rumor and all of that. So is this a comeback? <laughs> <laughs> this is my Britney documentary. What do you mean? <laughs> this is it. It's just, it's just me, me pretending to be Britney for two hours. What are you doing a Britney doc? Tell us. <laughs> So that just has me believing that none of that is even true, but I mean, who knows? Maybe he will be returning with a Britney Spears documentary and we will all learn about what's going on through Shane Dawson. Who knows? Who knows, honestly? And the last thing I want to mention that was included in this video was something that was kind of shady towards himself and honestly, Jeffree oh. Star. And that is that at one point in the video, Shane is kind of dressed up and he's wearing lipstick and Rylan is like, what shade are you wearing? Like, what's on your lip? And Rylan was saying, hey, like I kind of gave you an opportunity to promote your lip products and you didn't take it. And Shane was like, it's probably for free on Jeffrey's site. Oh gosh. I mean, that just tells you that he knows that like the sales and everything have gone down. I mean, they were even joking about people like resubscribing to Shane's channel because he knows he lost subscribers during the entire thing. Are the channel? Subscribe to Shane's channel. Resubscribe to Shane's channel. Actually, resubscribe to all of our channels. Thank you so much for watching. So, oh man, I mean, the self hating jokes were definitely turned on for this video. But I definitely want to know if you guys thought through the entire 40 minute video what you guys thought about all the things that they mentioned in this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.